mind you i'm still lumpy but the first step is to love yourself to be honest that's really the first matter of fact scratch it let's talk about first step loving your body anything is possible yeah. don't let them tell you that you're not enough. hi guys <laughs> to my channel if you are new to my channel i'm pretty new to my own channel but if you are new to my channel um thank you welcome i love you already a bit of background about me i am a mid-size plus size woman um single mom beauty fashion lifestyle influencer like we used to say in church welcome 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 <laughs> In today's video, we're going to talk about style tips. Style, style tips for mid-size, plus-size women. And more so the mid-size because I feel like we have been pushed out of sample size. Sample size, of course. But then we're not yet plus-size, which is just like, we want to be part of the plus-size community. And it really depends on who you talk to, right? Like, you talk to somebody in New York. If you are above an 8, you're plus-size. Um, but now I found this like little hole where it's just like, well, if you're a 10, 12, 14 and a little bit of 16, you're considered mid-size and then 18 plus is plus size. <sighs> I'm not sure where I really belong, but we're going to belong. We're going to find a group here. This is a safe space for 10 to 16. Okay. And, um, I'm really excited to talk about these little fashion tips that, or hacks that I've kind of come up with for myself. Um, I'll put a picture of my, I'll put a picture up, but I'm very, very boxy. And sometimes I have to wear things outside of a freaking spank. Listen, or a, or a undergarment. I, listen, if I can't sit down and feel comfortable, it's not really, it's not really made for me. Like I'm not really here to, 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 to be uncomfortable for the sake of not looking lumpy. Lump my ass up. Okay, I'm going to be in the restaurant. I'm going to be out with the girls. I'm going to be on a date lumpy. Because if, if you can't take me for who I am on the inside, <laughs> you don't even deserve my lumps or non-lumps. First of all, let, that'll be a whole other video. That'll be a whole other conversation about how people accept you for who you are, the skin you in, and the body you in. You either take me square or you don't take me at all. Um, but let me get my handy dandy notebook. And let's talk about some tips. Okay, <laughs> act like I wrote a lot. Okay, so I have five tips for you. And let's start off with number one. So my very, very most important tip, which I'm doing right now, actually. My number one tip, high-waisted jeans. I'm a big advocate for high-waisted jeans because they, they're like automatic cinchers. You don't have to wear a waist trainer. You don't have to wear Spanx or any type of undergarments. If you have, if you wear um, high-waisted pants or jeans, they kind of serve as a spank within itself, right? So what I like to do, I wear a lot of crop tops and high-waisted. Now, mind you, I'm still lumpy, but the first step is to love yourself, to be honest. That's really the first. Matter of fact, scratch it. Let's talk about first step. Loving your body for where it is right now. If you are on a journey to change your body, kudos to you. If you are on a um on a path to kind of like shape yourself kudos to you but right now you need to learn love where you are right now that way you will be ever so grateful for where you go so my number one rule step number one is to love the body where for where you <laughs> step number one love your body for where it is right now okay you only got one life to live you only got one body at this very moment right now is right now you can't don't put off shit because oh i'm gonna lose weight you know two or three now two or three months down the line that is amazing i pray that that happens for you but for right now where what we gonna hide we gonna duck off in the shadows what, what are we gonna do right now what we're gonna do right now is accept where we are and love where we are and we're gonna move from there so step number one is to love where you are do that mirror talk be butt booty ass naked and talk to yourself that type of stuff is key into loving your body i have i feel like i've developed a little sense of this uh, body dysmorphia but instead of saying oh i'm gonna go have surgery which is nothing wrong with that 
okay? But instead of saying I'm gonna have surgery or oh, I need to uh, go to a trainer or whatever, I am working on self-love because once you once you conquer that, everything else trickles. So that is my step. That's step number one is self-love, body love, all of that. That's step number one for sure. Step number two, high-waisted jeans, high-waisted pants, high-waisted knits. High-waisted pants are so essential when you are kind of like boxy or have like a small like a, a fupa or you know you're just not the sh most shapey person in the world because that what that high-waisted pant does is it kind of cuts you off mid-waist thus creating a waistline and I'll like insert I'll insert some pants or how I look when I wear high-waisted jeans I am the boxiest person you ever meet go to your kitchen look at a refrigerator that's my body shape okay I love my body shape I embraced my body shape a long time ago but what I try to do is give myself the illusion to myself that I got like a little like a little C on the side you know like oh not a C that's too that's too deep like a little what's what shape is that like a banana you know like not like curved banana but like a like a like a cashew i want a little cashew side you know what I, mean? <laughs> I want a little cashew side so i wear high-waisted jeans that is my step number two make sure you invest in good high-waisted pants high-waisted jeans high-waisted tights high-waisted active wear because again it snatches you in and then it also gives you a waist especially if you have a long torso i have a long torso and so me wearing high-waisted pants makes me feel sexier because I'm just like, ooh, I have curve on the side. And it's really not that. It's just some pants snatching your waist in and it's giving you the illusion that you got a little cashew on the side. And and that's the start. Because you're just like, ooh, Jessica Rabbit, where? Right here in this cashew side. Okay? Step number three. Um, It's not even a step. This is a tip. Tip and step number three. Wear the correct bra size. I cannot tell you how many times I see women with that cutoff in the titty that like like this this be they bra you don't have to have a full coverage bra you don't have to like you can have a plunge bra that's fine but if it's cutting to you where it's making if it's cutting into you where it's making a booty meat sis that's not your bra size okay a plunge or a t-shirt a t-shirt bra or a full coverage bra it should not be cutting off your boot meat okay now i know it may look like i got small boobs now but i used to have triple d's so let's 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 get into it go to i wouldn't even say victoria's secret victoria's secret is great but i feel like their sizing is a little off you can go home and um measure yourself and you'll measure yourself around your back across your nipples That'll give you your back size. And then you can measure from here to here. That, that'll give you your cup size. Here, here to here will give you a cup size. Okay? And that way you go to the charts and they'll tell you what size bra you are. Baby, no more cut off bras. Okay? Sports bras. No more sports bras and cute t-shirts. We're not doing that. Because it's going to give you a uniboob. Okay, I'm not necessarily saying that you have to have cleavage. I'm not a cleavage girl. I like a little space in between my boobies. But correct bra wear for correct garments is huge and essential when you are plus size, mid size, like 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 me. I will never ever wear a too small bra because that's the first thing people see, especially if you wear like a little V neck and you have like one boob, two boob, and a V. It's a lot going on up there. I, who am I looking at? That is too much going on up there. So that's tip number three, which leads me into tip step number four. I will put an insert right here. You know those t-shirts that have like the automatic like cup in the shirt? Like it has like a little, like a little sweetheart. If you are bigger than a C, the t-shirt is not for you unless it's made for curvy plus size women, for big titty women. Okay, and 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 I'm and I'm, I'm only getting aggressive because I want you to hear me. I want you to listen to me. And if that T-shirt or not shirt, if that blouse or that top has a already boob made a uh, cutlet or a uh, seaming in it, and your boobs are too big for it, throw it away. It's not for you, Kobe. It's not for you. Throw it away. Okay, that's the first thing we see as women because I feel like we. Women get dressed for women. 
I mean, yeah, like, you know, men, like, hey, ooh, cute, whatever. But, like, we get dressed for women. And I will tell you, as a fashionista, as a, I won't even call myself a style guru because I'm not a style guru. I just love fashion. When the boob insert is not your size, it is an eyesore. It's an eyesore. And you are beautiful. You are beautiful. I don't want to meet you with your big boobs and your too small t-shirt. I don't want to meet you like that. I want to meet your beautiful face and your beautiful smile. I don't want to see like, oh, oh, baby, <laughs> that top, that top ain't topping. <laughs> I just think that if you're going to wear those like, and I have one, I probably should go get it. This is a top I'm talking about in case you didn't know what I was talking about. So you see how it has this little bra like indication. This is a size 14 and it, it see, it cups around my bra, my boob. So my boob fits it. And if your boob does not fit into the pre-made cup, Kobe, let it go. But if you're going to wear one of those tops that have the, like the, the seaming for boobs, please make sure it's your size. Cause that kind of falls into this too small bra. It gives you, it gives you uniboob. It gives you multiple boobs. It just makes you more curvier or more oddy body than you already sh need to be. Like you don't need no extra, okay? So two small bras, cut it. Uh, seams with the, the boobs already in it and it's too small, cut it. High-waisted jeans, add it. High-waisted pants, add it. High-waisted activewear, add it. And always, always, always loving yourself. I have one last tip. This is important. Kitten heels. I'll put in a picture. These kitten heels are no, no. Plus size women, I understand like our ankles are weak or you know, we can't walk in heels. I understand that 100%. But let me tell you a safe inch of kitten heels. This is like a three inch. This, this kitten heel, this is the size that is, a, that is approvable, okay? Them inchy ninchy baby kitten heels that I see some of my beautiful dames wearing, no baby. Those do not accentuate your legs. Those do not elongate your body. What those do is make you stumpy and make you look, look a little cray cray. You, plus size women, mid size women should not be in a kitten heel. If you're gonna be in a kitten, be in a three inch kitten this is about a three inch kitten and i am a master of a little three inch kitten because i don't want my to break my ankles it's I, i'm heavy i don't want too much on my ankle my, my ankles start getting weak and they get shaky i don't need all of that so i wear my kittens but my kittens still elongate me still make me feel sexy and make me feel statuesque people who wear them itty bitty these people who wear those itty bitty kittens it stumptizizes you. It, it just it just cuts you off. It doesn't, I'm sure it doesn't make you confident. It just makes you feel like, if anything, I know them things ain't sturdy. So tip and step number five, no kitten heels in 23. If you have them, Kobe, throw them away. Throw them away. They are not made for us. They really ain't made for nobody but anybody uh, over 75. They're not made for us. Okay, if you want to wear something that's short but still kind of gives you a little pizzazz, a three inch heel. I promise you this will make a difference. I really hope that that um, that these style tips help somebody. And if you want to know more, leave comments or questions below. Like I am more than happy to answer them. And the only reason why I feel like I can or give you some advice is because I live it. I'm in it. I'm a size 14, 16. And I see plus size women, yes. I see mid size women, yes. I just feel like I, don't, I haven't found somebody that, you know, is a little razzle dazzle, like a little sprinkle like me. And I'm here, I'm here. I'm here to share my tips, my secrets, my no's, my do's, my Kobe's. That's the end of my tips and tricks on styling for a mid size plus size woman. Um, these are a few tricks. I have a lot of, I have a lot of more. I have a lot more. Um, these are just my starter to do's and to don'ts. <laughs> Can that be a thing? A to do and to a to do and a to don't. Um, just make sure high waisted jeans, pants, 
um, active wear. No small bras. If it's a pre-made cup, make sure it fits you. No kitten meow heels. None of that. Just a three inch heel. And lastly, really firstly and lastly, love where you are for where you are now. Love who you are, where you are, in your size 12, on your journey to an eight, in your size 36, in your journey to a 12. Wherever you are, you are beautiful, I promise you. Send me a picture and I'm gonna tell you how beautiful you are. I just spit all over myself because I'm dead serious. You have to love yourself. There is no start to change if you do not love yourself. And that's where it starts. I'm super excited about this journey that we're about to embark together because we stuck. It's me and you. We stuck now. So make sure you like it. Oh, that was aggressive. <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> anyway, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I'm hoping to post once a week. And it's only up from there. So thank you so much for listening. I know I ramble a lot. Yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them below. Make sure you follow me across the board. TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Patreon, Tendler. Tendler. Yeah, I said that. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and log off. Okay, bye. Don't let them tell you that you're not enough.